Paid for by Renzi for County Court Judge. Judge Dave Renzi has the best experience to be our next Jefferson County Court Judge. Judge Renzi served us as an assistant DA, prosecuting thousands of cases in all courts of Jefferson County. He served as chief public defender and has helped our residents in his private law firm and for the last seven years as town of Watertown and acting city of Watertown judge. Renzi has prosecuted, defended, worked in private practice, and been a sitting judge. Now that's experience. Vote Judge Renzi because we deserve a judge who is uniquely qualified for our county and committed to our community. It is a big night for us here at Channel 7, and we have to welcome our guests here, of course, Mel and John. But we have Joe Rich. He was an anchor here at Channel 7 in 1969 when the cornerstone was put in. So, Joe, thanks for being here. Glenn Goff, a sports director here for Channel 7 and uh, a legend uh, in, in broadcasting for sure. And Harold Johnson with Johnson Newspaper Corporation, the uh, former owners of Channel 7. And uh, he was the teen in those videos. Have and, a bit. And not at all. I wasn't going to say it. Uh, but he, he was there when it happened, and so we're, we're honored that you gentlemen are here for us. We really don't know what is inside, and so the big thing is, as we said, it is uh, cut open for us to be able to get into as well, and we'll start with some silica, I guess is what they have here, to preserve. So they were thinking ahead. And the box is lead, by the way. Um, we thought that maybe it was going to be copper, but it's a, it's a lead box. Um, put together by Ivan Filiatro of Antwerp. He called us, and he called us, and he said that he put this uh, this box together, built it. He was part of the, uh, the group that did the duct work here in the building. So without further ado, I hope that we can pull some stuff out of here again, what is in this time capsule. So it looks like the first thing, some film, which will be interesting to be able to uh, play or not. I don't know. That's... Uh, Joe, was it tough to work with film? It was. It took a while, right? It took an hour to develop, and then, you know, from negative to positive, and uh, it took a while. Sometimes we had to wait a long, a long time so, before we get a new story. So out. was that tough? I mean, in today's day and age, it's so instantaneous with a fire that you want to show it as soon as you can. Right. I, I pushed it, believe me. <laughs> but we still had to wait. We had to wait. We had to wait. Yeah. Uh, we have a letter in here, um, and I want to just kind of see what this is. And this looks like a plate that uh, would come from uh, the newspaper, I would think, Mr. Johnson. If you could look at that and tell us what, well, it's obviously a negative. Um, yeah, this is a photo, a photo engraving that would be used to make a, a pretty plate. Okay. So this was done in our, what back then, like you, we had to develop our film, yeah. and we had to photo etch these photographs onto these zinc plates using various acids that don't do that anymore. So this looks like a front page of Watertown Daily Times uh, put in here, and if you would, sir, please read the headline on the top that uh, was chosen That's to be right. put in. Armstrong, Aldrin, Walk on the Moon, One Giant Leap wow. for Mankind. So that was a, that is a photo engraving of the front page of the Watertown Daily Times right after the moon landing. And it looks like there are three of those uh, plates in here from different uh, different times. Gentlemen, if you want to take a look, uh, there's so much to get into here. I don't know what to uh, what to cut into next, but let's start with, and they said you had to use white gloves, and it's mm -hmm. tough to use white gloves, Melvin. I hear you. So we heard Mr. Tompkins talk about how there would be some programming watch in here, um, and I don't know exactly what it is. Melvin, why don't you open that up, and I'll work on something else, and we can uh, continue with opening up the artifacts that we have. These guys sealed things really well. Did you, did you guys have a shrink wrap back then, too? <laughs> Must have. Must have, yeah. This is a program log uh, dated uh, Tuesday, August 19th, 1969. And does it tell some of the programs that were uh, that were on at the time? What That's is a good it? question. Yeah. Keep looking. Right there, like right down at the bottom. What's it say? Captain Kangaroo. Captain Kangaroo. There you go. I'm too young to remember that, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the other the other day, Glenn mentioned that he grew up watching you on TV. Ah, is that true, Glenn? Yeah. I did. Yeah. I'm sorry, I got to get into this. Yeah. I don't mean. All right, so these may be some photos. Why don't you guys take a look at uh, what is exactly in that? Well, there's pictures of Public Square and downtown. Whoa. They are. They're all black and white, it looks like. Glenn, I'll let you look at the newspaper, and you can tell us. I think, actually, that paper yes. itself is one of the plates that we have up here. This plate. Uh, That's not, is it the Moonlight? Tuesday no, afternoon, August 19, 1969. Last edition, 
Ten cents. Ten cents. Mr. John, your paper was ten cents. <laughs> Cheap at twice the price. Storm death toll tops 128. Lost 500 million. And Melvin, you have. Uh, I, I actually have one of these. I actually have one of these at uh, at home. It's a uh, the, the, it came out uh, during the centennial, uh, 1869 to uh, 1969 of the city of Watertown, oh, and uh, right it's pretty pretty neat. And so, on the, what's interesting, I think, it's a nice history. Yeah, on the back of that are some ads that uh, yeah, that would including, be including uh, Woolworths. Yeah, on their 90th anniversary, yeah, it says on pretty, pretty neat. I'm impressed with how this is uh, all sealed. I mean, we were kind of concerned and, and thinking that you don't know if this stuff would be would be you know preserved, but here we are with with all this that uh, appears to be well intact. These are a series of pictures right, downtown, that is everything in public here. square. Looking through the arcade in 1969. Oh, oh. And those yes, are more down. program logs. Yep. As we, uh, this is the final thing that's in here, gents, and this is some sort of a letter. Uh, you want to look at the pictures Check there? Check the cars. Some <laughs> sort of, and there's a nice <laughs> building of a team hangar. Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, if we can show the pictures to the camera, I don't know which one is uh, looking at them. Yeah, that the Scotty Hunt there is on our camera. I can change them up here if you want. Jack Case Sports. Jack Case. Oh yeah, he did sports. Now Jack, Jack had the great job because not only did he do sports on television, he was also the sports reporter for the Watertown That's Daily right. Times. Right. And this building back then had the radio station too, right? WWY Radio. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 1969, right? You had the everything there. All right. So this is a, a, an envelope. And that's sealed as well. These guys were good at sealing things, I'll tell you that. This is a picture of the remains after the beginning of urban renewal urban in renewal. downtown. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. or anything John Moore on reported on first to five that urban renewal took about a hundred buildings in downtown. It took, you know, demolished a hundred buildings. Mr. 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 Forbes was the uh, yes, we're still waiting for the plan to be completed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the script that Bob Tompkins read to us in that film, it looks like. And it's this yeah, I think that this is what this is. So, let's see if it's signed. It's not. All right. Well, those are the contents of this time capsule, and we're not done yet. We're going to take a break, though, um, and let us kind of digest a little bit more. Uh, we'll be back here in a little bit. Mr. Kubis with your forecast, Mel has sports. A lot more to come, but we'll all join at the end of the newscast as we continue to look at the contents of this time capsule here at Channel 7. All right, back here on a big night for Channel 7, celebrating our 65th anniversary of being on the air. Tonight at 8 o'clock is when the programming went on, and I, actually I looked at the paper from that date, 1954, and it said the first, one of the first things that was shown was a tour of the WCNY studios up on Champion Hill, which is what it was at the time. We uh, have unveiled our time capsule. It's hard to do all of 50 years, I guess, in, in a little bit of time, but one of the pictures that you found, could you show that to our camera right there and tell us what, what it is? It was a picture of Public Square of the Woodruff Hotel and the traffic that was downtown and all the various shops, that most of which are gone at this point. Yeah, that urban renewal that uh, Bob Tompkins thought was going to be a success, right, in that video. Um, fun to see the plates. All of the plates came from uh, the Watertown Daily Times. She used to be the owner of Channel 7. Um, is it still used today? No, this okay. is old hot metal, but what this was done was actually took a photograph of the, 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 the front page of the Watertown Times okay. and put it on metal so in case the paper didn't make it 50 years. I knew the answer, but I had to ask. Uh, how much fun was this, gentlemen? Oh, great. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank well, no, thank you. Legends of, of, of broadcasting Ch Channel 7 with Joe Rich and Glenn Goff. And it's important for us to be part of that history as well. This doesn't go by us. It, it really is. I mean, I grew up watching these guys. And, uh, the yes. <laughs> Hit the cookies, I mean, yes. Is that a line you used? No. no. <laughs> the script that I opened up of Bob Tompkins, I want to read something. We have 50 seconds left, so I want to read something in here that it said, because the, the, the moon landing was in here in one of our photos. It said that, uh, where is it, whether you have spent, they want to know if we've spent a vacation at an orbiting space station, or whether other life has been found somewhere out there in space. And finally, they've inserted a reel of audio tape in case that you can't find one of the obsolete 16 millimeter film projectors even in a museum. You'll be able to see that, that video, that, uh, the film that was left for us by Bob Tompkins. So uh, this was a lot of fun. A lot of uh, work went into it for Channel 7. I appreciate all of the work. And again, to you gentlemen, thank you for being here. Very important night for us. So as we celebrate our 65th year of broadcasting. From the Broadcast Center in downtown Watertown, have a good night. <laughs> Great job.